okay, with my green line. Okay. So we know that when you draw a perpendicular line over here, focus on the green line, okay? Whatever I draw in green is the analysis for instantaneous center, okay? And then if I were to draw another line in green, Where it intersects, this is our instantaneous center. Okay. So, what are we trying to do down here? Okay, what are we trying to do down here? Okay. So we we have to first of all find. Uh, find VB. Okay, we have to find VB. And then from VB, and then from, okay, after we find VB, then we can use VB is equal to uh, uh, omega AB RAB. Okay, so this is the one that we want to determine. But first of all, we have to find what is our what? What is our VB? Okay. So now it's purely geometry now. Okay, it's purely geometry. So now we have to find our distance uh, IC B. And we have to find our distance ICC. Okay, so we have to find our distance ICB and ICC. So over here, we know that this angle over here is equal to 30 degrees. Let me, let me write in green. We know that this angle is 30 degrees. And we know that this angle is 60 degrees and finally we know that this angle over here is what uh, 180 minus 45 minus 60 minus 30 is 45 degrees okay so we know the distance bc so we know that this distance from here to here is equal to uh, four inch, okay, that we are aware. So from here, we can directly, directly write sine 45 over four will be equal to sine 105 over ICC, and we can put sine 30 over ICB. Okay. So from here, we can write out ICC will be equal to sine 105 over sine 45, and then we multiply by 4. Okay, so sine, sine 5.464. And then we can also determine ICB. Okay, so sine 30 divided by sine. 45 multiplied by a distance of 4. It's 2 point. Is it 4? Wait. Side 30. I think I might. Wait, let me. I, I found a uh, weird miss. Yep, 2.828.
Right. So when we have this information, okay, let's consider okay, the instantaneous center point B and point C. So I want you to focus on this triangle now, okay? Bear with me, okay? I'm going to copy, I'm going to paste. And there, there is a IC over here, which I will sketch. So this is our point C, and this is our point B. So what I'm doing now is we have a omega ICC and over here we have a omega IC ICB the okay, ICC and ICB Why I took it out is basically now these three points have fixed radius or fixed distance. So it's like our rigid body now outside the structure. Be clear. Just based on the velocity vector. So from here, what we can write down is omega ICB is equal to omega. ICC. Okay. So the thing that we know, right, is we know that this direction over here is equal to what? 12 inch per second. So from here, and there's our VB. From here, we can write out VB. Say it again. Ah, I miss it up. Oh, you're right. You got a pint of beer or whatever that you drink. Coffee? Orange juice, okay. Thank you. Okay, so this is our point C, point B. Ah, it's still correct, okay. So from here, we can write out that we have our VC. Okay, our VC is equal to omega ICC multiplied by uh, our distance. Did I call it radius or no? No. Nope our distance ic to c okay so we know vc is 12 omega ic to c and this icc is equal to 5.464 so from here This will be equal to 12 divided by 5.464 is equal to 2.196 radians per second. Okay. And we know it's going in this direction. So once we know this value, we know that omega ICB is also equal to what? Okay, 2.196. So from here, we can find VB is equal to omega ICB multiplied by the distance IC to B. Okay. So this will be equal to uh, 2.196 multiplied by distance of ICB is 2.828. So this will be equal to 2.196 
102.828. So this is equal to 6.21 inches per second. Okay. So once we know this value, right, we go back to our original diagram. Bear with me. Okay, we go back to our original diagram. So now we know that VB is equal to what? 6.21 inches per second. So now we want to find we want to find omega a b. Okay. So make sure you don't use the instantaneous value. Okay. You only use the velocity. We know that v b is equal to six point two one, right? So we can write down v b is equal to omega a b, right? Omega a b r a b. So now VB is equal to 6.21 omega AB, and then we multiply by RAB, which is five inches. Therefore, omega AB will be equal to 6.21 divided by five. Okay, so 6.21, 1.242 radians per second. Okay, so you have to be careful when you are analyzing the what? When you are analyzing the when you are analyzing when you are analyzing the real world when you are analyzing the instantaneous center of clear? and then when to bring it back. Okay, right. Any questions from anyone? Now, some of you might ask in a test on the real world when to use what? Yes or no? All right, when to use what? In the test, I will tell you what to use. Okay, in the real world, does not matter. Are we clear? Okay, so in the test, I'll tell you, but because I have to test whether you understand the concept of instantaneous center. And I'll say in this question, you have to apply what? Instantaneous center. Okay, but in the real world, you decide this the good thing about this is what you don't need to i cross j j cross i you know whatever cross whatever are we clear right you can it's just i think this was designed for silver engineers okay they don't do a lot of vectors okay but we do vectors right uh let's look at the textbook for a bit Where is my text? Have you downloaded the textbook? Yes or no? Yes, no. Some of you being very polite. No, I'm going to buy. Wait. So if we, uh, I, I, I don't like the first few chapters. It's a waste of time. Okay, so from here, really, come on. We are going to do, we have done this. Some of these are too easy for you. Okay, we are going to do, do I have it here? We done all this. Instantaneous velocity. That's what I'm looking for. So we are going to do. So this is, let me see. Yeah. We are going to do one of the worst problem. Okay. We're going to pick this problem over here. Okay. Can you see that? Okay. So we're going to do a problem like this. And this, this problem is interesting. Okay. And again, it really tests your concept whether you can you you are able to bring things 
from the real world into the instantaneous center and back to the what? Back to the real world. So we're going to do this example, okay? So again, I posted this question. Tomorrow we will do this question with instantaneous center and you will find it really, really easy. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do it. So we are going to do this example. This example, usually when we do examples, we only deal with two linkages. Yes or no? That's most common, right? Three linkages, you have to be careful. Okay. Right. So let's look at this problem. So example number two. If rod AB is rotating at omega AB is equal to three radians per second, Determine the angular velocity of the rod 